Hi tubers, um, we're having some <laughs> pretty bad weather these days, so uh, I think I'll spend uh, the day in the shed. And uh, but couldn't think of anything to do there, so I went and got myself a little project. So there it is, a very very cheap hatchet. And uh, I'm going to make it look a little better. So uh, it's a, a 0 0.9 kilo head on it, and I just like the shape of the head. <laughs> uh, the sound you're hearing is my little boy playing in the background. I think he's yeah, that's okay. Um, so um, I'm just going to put my camera on a tripod and, um, and then get ahead with it. So here's my new project: a cheap hatchet, and that's my assistant. <laughs> that, uh, yeah. uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, remove the paint, sand off the varnish, and we have a hailstorm outside, <laughs> uh, and give it an edge. So that's uh, it for now. Okay, carburetor cleaner takes off most stuff. So and baby wipes. <laughs> See, yeah, it comes off. Easy. So now let that work for a while. See? So I just wait with taking off the varnish of the axe handle until I've done this because the Varnish on the axe handle will protect the uh, handle. So, So uh, here we go, paint is off and uh, next step, yeah, remove this <laughs> somewhere, some way and uh, sand it down, I'll be back, well oh, just some P80 grits or whatever mm, sandpaper. Is this what you Removing the varnish. So, but this is uh, quite dusty work and I want to save the camera. So, um, I'm going to uh, switch it off and move it somewhere safe. Well, the handle starts to look right. So I'm not going to spend much more time working on uh, a 
cheap axe like this, but it's uh, looking better and it's better to to hold. So, so with the varnish off. Um, so next, linseed oil. Um, here it is. Uh, I don't have a paintbrush, so uh, more baby wipes. <laughs> Handy stuff having a yeah. see if I can get the <laughs> yeah. I just paint that on. have to sharpen it uh, I'm not going to show you how to sharpen an axe there's hundreds of videos out there showing that and uh, and um, I <laughs> frankly I'm not very good at it so um, but I'm going to put an edge on there and uh, make some sort of sheet for it that's easier to take off than the rubber plastic uh, protection there. Well, it's evening here in the shed. <laughs> oh, just didn't have time to do anything with this. So I'm going to wipe off some oil of the um, axe head. It's turned out quite well. And then I'm just going to wrap it up. And here is just vinegar, wine gar, how do you, I don't know how to pronounce that. So and I'll just pour it on. I've got so much of it. So. Oh, and then just let that work on the eggs. And then I do the same with the knife. Press the knife. These are just normal baby wipes. <laughs> Thank you. 
so everything is just soaked in vinegar. Well, it's the next morning, so um, let's see what happened to the axe and the knife. Looks like it may have rusted a little bit. I'm happy with that. Huh? Beautiful. What I'm more anxious about is the knife. Oh. Let's see. Wow. <laughs> Looks like the brass took a beating as well. But that polishes off, no problem. Yo! That's what the knife looks like now. Nice. I'm just going down, that's full of... Uh, almost a Damascus pattern to it, <laughs> especially on this side, but uh, I like it and uh, now the knife is better protected for against rust basically, which uh, is a good thing up here, it's a a nice patina on it and I'm happy. So I just have to polish this uh, brass here. 